Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. This tool is going to blow your mind. I'm going to show you how to use the sound remover to remove really, really tough sounds from audio in Adobe Audition. So let's hop into Adobe Audition. And before we get started, let me tell you about my courses. They're open now for enrollment. If you want to learn about audio production, podcast production, sounding great on a live stream, head to mrc.fm forward slash learn. They're all manageable online. You can learn remote from wherever you are, uh, from the comfort of your own home. Anything you want about audio, mrc.fm forward slash learn. And there they all are. Right, let's hop into Adobe Audition. I've got a great example for you today. Have a listen. And then it sort of really took an urban turn towards the 80s. Okay, you're going to say to me, Mike, there is absolutely no way you're getting rid of that siren in the background. It's just not going. Well, already I have opened up something that I advocate highly when you're doing a noise reduction and removal, and that's the spectral frequency view down here. Uh, it's accessed using this icon or Shift and D on your keyboard, and you'll get straight into it. Now, obviously, if you are looking at this... And then it sort of really you really can't see the siren, but obviously then when I'm in spectral frequency view, it's very, very clear. Now, this is probably a bit too complex to use something like the Spot Healing Brush tool on. Yes, it, um, it, may, it might work a little bit. Let's try. And but no, it's still there. It's not touching it at all. We're going to need the big guns, and this is where we're going to use the sound remover. It's a brilliant effect. Uh, let me show it to you. So under noise reduction restoration in the effects menu, you've got the sound remover process, and we're going to do that in just a second. But first of all, we need to learn the sound model, and in order to teach this the sound that we want to remove, we need to use the paintbrush tool up here. So that's that one or P on your keyboard. And then you can make it bigger or smaller using the curly brackets. And I'm just going to make it big enough to be able to highlight as much as I can of that siren that's going on in the background. And you see I messed up there. <laughs> you got to do it all in one click. So again, over in one click, here we go. Trying to get as much of this siren that I want to remove as possible. Okay, you can do it like that. Okay, that's very accurate. Or I can either do it that way with the paintbrush, or I can actually use the time selection tool and say, well, actually, before the guy starts speaking here, and then it sort of really took an there is a nice little sample of the audio of the siren here without him speaking. So I'm actually going to teach that as the sound model. We'll go into effects, noise reduction, restoration, learn sound model. And then it asks you the current audio selection will be captured and loaded as a sound model for use next time you're using the sound remover effect. Yes, please. Click OK. That's done. Now it's learned. And then you simply select everything. You go to effects, noise reduction, restoration, sound remover process. And hopefully, wow, look at that in the before and after view. It seems to have worked tremendously well. Uh, let's give it a play. And then it sort of really took an urban turn towards the 80s. Okay, now you can hear that it's a bit off, it's a bit weird, it doesn't sound quite right. Let's uh, see, we've got lots of different stuff here that we can use. Uh, and we can go to something like the, let's start with, uh, probably it's best to make sure we return to the default settings, which are here. Enhanced for speech should definitely be on. Uh, most of this we can leave as is for the moment. Now what I would do, if we're getting problems with garbled speech like this, and then it sort of really took an urban turn towards the 80s. We can actually turn the FFT size down to 1024. Let's try that and see. And then it sort of really took an urban turn towards the 80s. Okay, that's much better compared to... And then it sort of really took an urban turn. And then with it on... And then it sort of really took an urban turn towards the 80s. And then what we can do if we really want to make this even better, we can turn up the content complexity a little bit. Let's try that. And then it sort of really took an... And the content refinement passes, which of course is the content it's working on. And then it sort of really took an urban turn towards the 80s. Same with the sound model complexity. Sort of Let's push that up a little bit and see if that makes any change. And then it sort of really took an urban turn towards the 80s. Okay, and that's about, I think, as good as we're going to get. But I think you'll agree that this sounds amazing. And then it sort of really took an urban turn towards the 80s. Compared to this. And then it sort of really took an urban turn towards... <laughs> Let's just do it with the uh, effect going on and off as I play back. And then it sort of really took an urban... And then again, playing back. And then it sort of really took an urban turn towards the 80s. Apply. Job done. Sound remover, a really powerful tool that you can adjust ever so slightly. But once you teach it that sound model, it can remove unwanted sounds, even huge wailing sirens from the background of your audio. Let me know how you'll be using this tool. And indeed, if you need any help, just post in the comments down below. 